Ingeniería García del Florí, in Carora, Lara State, Venezuela, Salvador Montes de Oca was born in 1895. At the age of 15, he entered the St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary to become a priest. At age 31, in 1927, he was consecrated as the second bishop of Valencia, Venezuela. In those pastoral visits that he did being a bishop, he went to all corners of the diocese. He preached, baptized, gave first holy communions, performed confirmations, and cared for the poorest and most needy. When he knew that of a need of a family, he gave money to the children so as not to embarrass the parents. At the same time, he devoted himself to writing in order to reach the faithful as efficiently as possible. He lived to the full the words of Christ, the truth will set you free. He was a great fighter in favor of freedom, human rights, and specially cared for the political prisoners confined in the Libertador Castle in Porto Cabello, as well as for the families of all those detained. In 1929, the governor of Carabobo wanted to marry a Valencian married lady, and as a warning, Monsignor Montes de Oca published a letter condemning marriage to divorced persons, also censoring those who had wives outside of marriage and published the letter. For this letter, he was arrested in Los Teques and shipped into exile to the island of Trinidad. Aware of this fact and that the civil government also intended to expect all the bishops, General Juan Vicente Gomez told them, leave the priests alone and don't mess with them anymore. I don't eat peace, priest meat because priest meat chokes. When Gomez returned to power in 1931, he lifted the measure of exile and Monsignor Montes de Oca returned to Valencia where he continued to stand out as always for his defense of marriage, family, and the political persecuted. He entered the order of the Cartusians in Italy to live as a simple monk. It was the time of the Nazis. The Nazis entered the monastery and removed all the monks in 1888 along with the prior of the monastery. They were all assassinated and thrown into a mass grave. Monsignor Montes de Oca was among them. He was just 49 years old. At the end of the war, the grave was discovered, unearthed and identified. The process for the beatification of Monsignor Salvador Montes de Oca has already been opened, and as a part of it, his mortal remains were transferred from the Sacred Heart of Jesus Temple, known as the Church of the Servants of the Blessed Sacrament, to the Metropolitan Cathedral Basilica of the city of Valencia in Venezuela, where he was solemnly buried in the chapel of Our Lady of Coromoto in the presence of of Cardinal Baltasar Porras, Monsignor Saul Figueroa, Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Valencia, Father Antonio Aroche, Vice Postulator of the Cause of Canonization of Bishop Montes de Oca, Bishop Diego Padron, Archbishop Emeritus of Cumana, and recently appointed Cardinal, some bishops, priests, relatives and friends of Monsignor Montes de Oca, who is undoubtedly an example for current generations due to the firmness of his principles and fidelity to the gospel. Monsignor Montes de Oca knew that at all times, even in the midst of difficulties, with God we always win. <laughs>